Did you do it to the fish? Yeah, buddy, and oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm here, oh, what am I going to feed Sir Ali now? Uh, Got no food. What about them things over there? T tinned beans? Hmm? James going to open some tinned beans. Oh, meatballs. Delicious, it smells so gorgeous. I'm sure she won't mind if I have just a little bit. Mmm, it's absolutely delicious. I want, I want more of it. Mm. Um, uh, 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 um, uh, Ian, you know that thing that you're eating a lot of? Yeah, the meatballs. Uh, it's delicious. I don't, yeah, I don't think you can make Sonali some meatballs. Why not? Because them's dog's food. Here's mission 2110. Give a bit. Previously on mission 2110. The Roboids still infest Future Gate. And that's the perfect place to strike at them. Your part in the Resistance starts here with a logic mission. Three padlocks and a big pile of chains are in your way. I need recruits who are steady of heart and steady of hand. The alarms have sounded. Get out of there, recruit, quickly. Let's see if we can take out these Bowen! toxic barrels. Bowen! Congratulations, recruits. Here we are at the Futuregate recharging facility, where you're about to have an electrifying experience. Yes, it's in! Run! Let's fry us a war droid! Mission 2110 is set in the future, and the adventures you're about to see are controlled by trained professionals. Please do not try any of the missions performed in the show at home. They're strong, almost unstoppable, but we can do it! We can take back Earth if we work together! We built them to be our friends. We built them to serve us on Earth and worlds far away. But out there, somewhere, something went wrong. They returned to destroy us all. Well, almost. The fight back starts here. With you. This is Mission 2110. Welcome to the future. It's a dark and dangerous place, but it's also humanity's only hope for salvation. Roboids, supposedly the saviors of mankind, until they got their wires crossed. From a mining planet somewhere out in the galaxy, they headed home with a bad case of Cyber Psyker. Now it's up to me to beat them, but I need help, and that's where you come in. Welcome to Mission 2110. Remarkable recruits. You all appear to have survived phase one. You know, looking at you, I didn't think it would be possible. Hey, hey, only joking. So, Lois, you did very well there on chain break. How did it go? Well, I ignore the smell of the chaise and I'm really glad that I got a bio rod. Fern and Callum, you made short work of that crash test roboid. Talk me through it. It was amazing to control a roboid. I made sure my instructions were loud and clear. Good work. And Kieran, excellent work there for you on Livewire. It was amazing to see a roboid for the first time and I managed to bag myself one bio rod. Ah, very good all round recruits, but now I'm afraid I'm upping the ante. By the end of play, only three of you will remain. Who wants to be in the three? Me! All right, all right, quieten down and keep collecting these babies because the recruit with the most bio rods at the end of phase two will automatically go through. The rest of you will have to face the vaporizer. Oh, sends a shiver down my spine just saying the word. But not to worry, plenty more missions to come before that. So keep quiet and sneak with me to scavengers. Okay, recruits, you know the score. The only way we can defeat the Roboids is by taking away their power. And the only way we can do that is to steal their bio rods. Fortunately, the upper engine room is riddled with them. Unfortunately, it's also riddled with festering shades. You can smell them from here. The zombie-like slaves of the Roboids. You must never touch a shade. If you do, you're automatically out of the mission. The shades are working on some sort of generator, which is powered by no less than 12 bio rods. 
take them away and we turn their precious generator into junk. Yes! All 12 are up for grabs if you can find them. They're hidden in security boxes throughout the room. But keep your eyes peeled, recruits. Some of the boxes contain more than one, whereas some are empty. A word of warning, though. There's a guard at this end of the room, so you must move quietly, stealthily around the generator if you want to avoid detection. OK, guys, are we clear? Yes. yes. Get in there. Scavengers. Mission on. Go, go, go. 12 fire rods to find that get scavenging. Good luck. Quick stuff, sir. That's your first fire rod in the bag. You need to make this mission count. Looks like you've struck by a rod gold fern. That's another two. Lois, that's your first. But that still leaves eight more to scavenge. Those ugly, smelly shades are all around you, so keep away from them. Those bio rod fuel boxes are everywhere, so explore high and low. Well spotted, Fern. That's two more bio rods. You've got to be quick with those chains, Callum. The shade's coming towards you. If it touches you, it's mission over. Come on, Callum. You just need to reach a little bit higher. Good work, and just in time. That's two bio rods. Cautious as you approach that shade, Kieran. It may turn round at any moment, and you're trailing behind, so get a move on. Try not to get trapped by those shades. They're not only incredibly smelly, but they're deadly too. Kieran, that's your first bio rock. Plenty more still to find, but the shades could have hidden them anywhere. <laughs> Must be back here with me before the time runs out, or you will lose all your bio rods. Kieran, well done. You found your second bio rod. Try not to disturb that guard. Callum, well spotted. That's your third. But it looks like that guard sensed you. There are more bio rods still to find, but you've got ten seconds, recruits. Five seconds, recruits. Kieran, pick up that bio rod. You've got just seconds to escape to safety. Excellent work. You all managed to get out in one piece. Glad to see that now. How did you do for bio rods? Fern, you got five. That's excellent. Lois, just one. But there's plenty more bio rods to get in the next mission. Follow me. I kept missing, like, certain boxes because I was so scared. I wouldn't look down. I kept looking side to side. And the shades, they absolutely stank. The shades were quite scary because it was sort of dark in there and all you really see was just like red eyes coming towards you and it was just like, get out of the way. And the roboid was quite scary also because it's rather big and um, it kept on turning around and you had to go and hide when it did so you wouldn't get caught. I couldn't get any of the hanging down ones which had like most of them in so I was really annoyed at that and then I had to search for ages and ages and then finally I managed to find two but I was, I was pretty disappointed. Ah, my recruits did pretty well in scavengers. Eleven bio rods between them. That guard roboid can't have been too happy. Let's hope it doesn't tell its mates about our antics or heads will roll. And speaking of rolling, apparently this was quite a popular game in the 20th century. It's a bit boring if you ask me. Now, blowing up war droids, yeah, that's a game! <laughs> ah. Speaking of blowing things up, the next mission awaits. OK, recruits, stay close to me. Keep pressed against the wall. We've relocated to Cargo Hold 1 on the many Future Gate ships. Plenty more opportunities for stealing bio rods. Yes. This time, you're going to be dealing with the metal brutes of the Psycon Empire, the workers. Created for punishing manual labour, they've got as much brains as a mobile phone. But if the call comes for destruction, they'll pick it up in seconds. Look up there, and you'll see one of the workers experimenting with dangerous chemicals. I think they're trying to create some kind of explosive to use against the resistance. And that's where you guys come in. Contained in the drums on the upper level are various toxic metamolecules. The workers are mixing them together to create an explosive compound called SGP-60, which is so volatile it could cause this whole place to blow. You've got to gather these catalysts and separate them from the other chemicals. 
Good luck, recruits. Watch out for those shades and get grabbing. Scattergrab. Mission on. Okay, recruits. It looks like the workers dropping the first load of toxic meta molecules. Get grabbing, recruits. Remember, those shades are going to make things difficult for you, so make sure you avoid them. We must avert an explosion by removing as many catalysts from that mix as possible. It's every recruit for themselves. Lois, you're doing well. This is your chance to catch up with the others. The workers sending more meta molecules over the edge. Two bio rods at stake for the first recruit to bring me back the most catalysts. Be careful of those shades mixing up the meta molecules. Touch them, you're out of the mission. Here come more toxic meta molecules, recruits. Watch out! This mission is critical. Remember, you can only grab one catalyst at a time because they're highly volatile. Who's going to win those precious bio rods? At the moment, it's too close to call. Keep your energy up, Callum. The recruit that brings me back the most catalysts will be rewarded with the most bio rods. Still see a few more from up here. Keep hunting, recruits. Just one left to find recruits. Mission over. Congratulations, recruits. You've managed to prevent a huge explosion. I'm very proud of your work. Now, I can reveal that the recruit who managed to collect the most catalysts, and so the recruit that will take two of these bio rods, was Fern. Congratulations. Excellent work. Two of you recruits share second place, which means two of you will get one bio rod each, and one of you will get nothing at all. The recruits who get one bio rod each are Lois and Kieran. Callum, no bio rods for you, mate. You've got one more mission to collect some more bio rods before you face the vaporizer. So follow me to that mission. Let's go. As a mission in comparison with the others, it was quite scary when all the shades were coming at you. You had to think about collecting the toxic molecules as well as dodging the shades. I've picked one of the toxic molecules up and I threw it and it bounced off the edge and I was really annoyed at that. I'm a little bit gutted that Fern got two and I didn't get any, but I'm really pleased with her. Um, I think the vaporizer is going to be extremely hard because, well, it's the vaporizer. It's got the name for it, hasn't it? Two missions down, one to go before V-Lab and the vaporizer. Fern is doing pretty well at the moment. Nine bio rods. Very impressive. Actually, I'm pretty proud of all of my recruits at the moment, my four little companions. Still, they've never arrived looking quite like me. No metal parts, no headgear. There's got to be a reason for that. Hello? Cybelle? Confused, but no change there. The Roboids. You must understand, Caleb. No one could have had any idea. I designed them to help humanity. I know. I know. I'm sorry. You can never be as sorry as I am, Caleb. But was it you that froze me? And these cybernetic implants? You were ill, Caleb. Dying. I had the best scientists, and they tried to save you. But you froze me. In the end, it was all I could do. I had to buy more time for myself, for you. We put you into cryostasis, then everything blew up. But what happened? I I'm fine now. I never stopped working on you, Caleb. Never gave up hope. Is a roboid coming? Quickly. You have to go. Okay. I'll speak to you soon. Quickly, recruits! We've 
been spotted by a war droid. We've got to move fast and get out of harm's way. Okay, recruits. I think that war droid knows that someone or something is in this area. So we're going to have to stay quiet if we want to avoid getting zapped with its vector beams. There are two more bio rods up for grabs, provided we can steal them away from the war droid. These guys didn't come into production until 2065, just two years before the great battle. Combat masters, the foot soldiers of the Roboid Empire, they have surprisingly low intelligence. Fingers crossed that could be of help in this next mission. In just a few moments, you're going to take up position on the shocker pads in front of you. I think the war droid is testing some form of time portal apparatus by programming this machine with sequences of coloured lights. I want you to mimic its movements exactly. If you fail, the consequences could be deadly as alarms will sound and it will blast at you with its vector beams. If you step incorrectly or fail to take a step when it's your turn to move, you're out of the mission. Last recruit standing gets two bio rods. Are we clear? Yes. Go for it. Good luck, recruits. Mission on. OK, recruits, you must concentrate on the order of night. The war droid is programming a sequence of nine colours. One false step or one hesitation will result in that roboid opening fire with its vector beam. This is not a team mission, recruits. It's one against one, so try not to be put off by the others. This is a true test of memory. Keep your eyes on the colours. We can't afford to make a mistake and alert that war droid. OK, recruits, let's try to remember the code. Begin. Green! Green! Blue! Yellow! Red! Green! Lois, that's the wrong step. Watch out for that one. Remember your panic button. Kieran, that was in fact your move. Sadly, Lois's haste cost her the mission. Two bio rods in play. Keep your concentration. We're going up to ten. So we're down to just three recruits. Which one of you will be left standing at the end of this mission and claim those two bio rods? This is a true test of your memories. So concentrate. If that war droid suspects you're in the area, it could fire its vector beam again, so it's crucial that you get every one of the light sequences correct. All three of you need to work out a system of locking in your colours and remembering where they come in the sequence. Step confidently, recruits. Begin. Blue. Green. One of you must take a step, recruits. Five seconds left, recruits. Blue! Just in time, Kim. That was the right step. Red! Green! Yes. Who's it? Okay, recruits, you have just one more step to get right. Is it blue? No, I don't know. One of you must take a step, recruits. <sighs> I think it's blue. No. Kieran, that's the wrong step. That war droid's gonna fire. Remove your panic button. Fern, that final move was meant to be yours. Kieran panicked, and that error cost him the mission. Recruits, with two bio rods at stake, we're going head to head for a sequence of ten lights. May the best recruit win. May the best memory succeed. <laughs> be your move and you're taking too long, the time sensors will kick in. Remember, recruits, only one of you will walk away with two more precious bio rods. Callum, if you succeed, then that will allow you to draw level with Fern. Fern, if you survive the mission, that will put you on 11 bio rods and you will avoid facing the vaporizer. 
remember, you're working solo in this mission. Begin. Green! Must take a step, recruits. Red! Red! Is it me? I think it's. I think it's you, because I only do it twice, and then the third time I do it three times. I don't know. It's you. No. Callum, I'm not it's sure. You. Five seconds to go. One of you must take a step. Step on the thing, quick! No, I don't think it is. Fern, you failed to step. Now get out of there! Remember your planning button! Congratulations, Callum. You've survived the shocker. Now grab those bio rods, quick. Yes! Congratulations. Now come join me for the next mission, the Vaporizer. Shocker was a shock to me, because unfortunately I didn't get the two bio rods that were on offer. Um, I think this was because um, I lost concentration on the last step that I made. I really, really, really wish I had a time portal and then I could go back in time and then I could win. Fern and Callum were both saying that it was me, so I had pressure on me, so I went with the flow, but I should have stuck to my gut instincts. Um, I felt a little bit guilty because Karen went out, but I'm really happy because I went on and won the two bio rods. The Future Gay House spinning some tunes for all you resistance goons. Make some noise! Yeah, hands in the air like you just don't care. Oh, I'm loving it, loving it, loving it. I'm loving it. I'm not, I'm not really loving it. It's such a waste of time when you're completely and utterly alone. Huh. Anyway, four recruits are about to become three as they face the daddy of all final missions. The Vaporizer. Poor souls. Welcome then, recruits, to the Vaporizer, this sinister circuitry deep in the underbelly of the Future Gate ships. It's here that we will be bidding a fond farewell to one of you. The rules are simple. You must make your way across the Vaporizer one step at a time, from your starting corner to the doorway opposite. But you won't be alone on the Vaporizer. Also making their way across the grid are three big, ugly robots. You must not step into their parts or allow them to step into yours. If that happens, you will be vaporized. We have a tie break situation. Callum, Fern, you each have nine bio rods, an impressive tally. However, only one of you will be safe from the vaporizer, so we have to determine who that is. Green will represent Callum, red will represent Fern. The recruit who will be safe from the vaporizer at this stage is. Fern. Congratulations, Fern. That means the three of you will be competing for just two places in the next stage of Mission 2110. And I'm sorry, recruits. In this mission, you will not have your panic buttons to keep you safe. So good luck, and to one of you, goodbye. Force Vaporizer. Mission on. Recruits, prepare for the deadliest of missions, the Vaporizer. The Vaporizer controls the directions of the Roboids by changing colour. The next time the enemy step, it will be left because the grid turned purple. This is a mission of strategy, so keep your wits about you and step cautiously. Callum, take your first step onto the grid. Forward! Last time, the lights changed to purple, so that's a left step. The lights are green. That means the Roboids will step right next. Callum, it's time to make your first big decision, left or right. Left! Here we go. Which path do you take? Left! Lois, how are you feeling, Lois? I'm quite scared about the robots because they're really big. Time to make a decision, Lois. Left! Only two of you will survive this mission. The other one will be leaving us for good. 
Roboid's moves are dictated by the Vaporizer. The next time the enemy step, it will be right, because the grid turned green. Callum, take a step. Forward! Kieran, make your move. Forward! Your move now, Lois. Forward! Try not to get trapped, otherwise the Roboids will vaporize you. The lights are blue, recruits. That means the Roboids will step forward. You need to think tactically here, Callum. Right! Kieran. Time to take a step, but in which direction? Right! Lois, make a move. Right! The guard can sense something's in the area, so try to keep cool. The lights are green. That means the Roboids will step right next. Avoid the Roboids at all costs and make every step count. Callum, make a move. Right! How are you feeling, Kieran? Nervous, but I'm just trying to not concentrate on the robots and just trying to ignore them. Right. Lois, you're pretty close to that guard. How are you feeling? Quite scared. What are you thinking tactically, Lois? I think I should go right at this present moment, otherwise I will run into the robot. Take a step. Fight! This mission is all about outwitting your opponents, both the Roboids and your fellow recruits. The lights are blue, recruits. That means next the Roboids will step forward. Callum, when you're ready, make a move. Right! Right! Lois, take a step. Right! Remember, you can never retrace your steps. The Vaporizer has turned green. That's a right move next for the enemy. What are you thinking, Callum? I'm really scared because I'm trapped now. Forward! Kieran. Forward! Lois. I'm quite scared because I think I'm going to get vaporized. Make your move. Forward! Recruits, you have all stepped into the path of the Roboid. Lois has the fewest bio rods, so she will be vaporized as the guard will move into her space first. Lois, you have fallen victim to the vaporizer. Congratulations, recruits. You have survived to join me in phase three of the mission. Now get off the vaporizer, quickly! Well, well, well. Four become three. Do you guys think I've chosen the best recruits? The fastest, the toughest, the strongest to take with me to the next phase? Yes! We are, of course, sorry to see Lois go. She was a good recruit. She was brave. But at least we know that wherever she is, she's safe from the Roboids. Well, perhaps. Who knows where the Vaporizer sent her? Still no time to dwell. The next phase of Mission 2110 awaits. Roboids, Neuros, you're going down! This way! I think not, Caleb. I think it'll be you and your silly little recruits going down. Whilst my machines will ride high on the tide of destruction. The world will be mine. The world will be mine forever. The world will be mine forever. CBBC have an amazing new offer that is out of this world. Just text SJA to 80313 to join the adventure and get a free and exclusive Sarah Jane sound file for your phone, featuring the doctor himself. Make sure your mobile can receive MMS messages and play MP3 files and always ask permission first. There's a limited number and only one per phone, so be quick. Nothing's going to make me miss this. Find the full terms and conditions in the help section on the CBBC website and download your special Sarah Jane sound file today. Who's the man? You the man. Oh, don't, don't. Yeah. Oh, hello, so welcome back. Today I'm, I'm quite nervous. I'm about to go on a date in 10 minutes with Sonali from Newsround. But don't worry, if there's one thing ENT Sterling can do, it's dress to impress. Check this out, it's my shirt. 
I uh, ironed it myself. I think you'll find it's pretty crease free. Oh, uh, Ian. Oh, yeah. Ian, uh, Ian I just got to tell you not something about that. Not now, not now. Listen, it's, it's listen. Yeah, You've I... ruined everything about these dates so far. Yeah. You're not ruining my dress sense, no, no, OK? I was just, just going to tell you Says... about the... the... That'll be the flowers I got snally. Wait there, don't touch anything. <laughs> I'm looking pretty snazzy. Got all my fancy <sighs> clothes on. <sighs> gonna make it happen. <laughs> Hello. Oh. Uh, Dodge. Why didn't you tell me I wasn't wearing any trousers? Uh, yeah, I tried, but you were busy looking in the mirror. Look, here's Sean the sheep. Yeah, and you look like a riot. Run that work.